guys, welcome to Two Split. Today we are unboxing that. Needs no real introduction. This is a successor to the PS4, aptly named the PS5. Uh, we're gonna see what's in the box. Nothing special, be real quick. Um, yeah, it's taking quite a beating. Thanks for a three letter delivery service. I'm not gonna call their name. But it got here, it got here. Let's move on. So we cut open the seal. We gotta get it for this wild book. Totally destroyed that. Oh, okay. So it's a box. It's a box in a box. And that's the first thing you get. So this outer shell is just really for protection. It's that gone. You have a clean box. The logo up front. Oh, is there another seal here? Okay, that's it, no seal. So you peel back the box. And I gotta get them on this one. Okay, multiple compartments. Let's move this to the side. Uh, so the top compartment houses the, the most important things, reading material. The stuff we never read, that. And then we're gonna file it to the side. What else is in here? It is the base plate, I believe. Yeah, so this is what's gonna get your PS to stand up horizontally or vertically. This, this, the PS can't sit on a flat surface on its own. It's not safe, you get knocked over, and I think it needs the air based on the design. That's why it's so big. So let's put that aside. HDMI cable, probably heard of one of these. Power brick, no brick, sorry. Power cable, straight to port. USB-C cable to charge your controller. And the brand new adaptive Roller. Look at this. Woohoo! Looks fantastic. Feels great. It's bigger uh, than DualShock 4, but we'll get into that comparison in a bit. Let's put this down. Let's see what's next. Okay, I think it's the main guy. Yeah. It's in here. Oh wow, that's heavy. Put that to the side. Take away the eggshell protections on the left. And on the right. Okay, so it's wrapped nicely. We'll take this off. Okay, that's big. Bigger than I thought. There you have it. There she is. PlayStation 5. Yeah. Let me sit for a while. Lower at the top. These panels come off if you want to mod them. There's a host of mods online right now. It says USB port in the front, USB-C, USB-A, power button, eject button, CD slot. If you got the digital edition, this would be perfectly symmetrical, but because of the, the CD drive, this sort of bumps out in here. At the back, host of ports, two USB ports, USB-A ports, uh, Ethernet cable, HDMI, and a power jet. That's, that's it. These are your ports back here. Interesting. Okay, so let's see how this works with the base. So, I'm supposed to read the manual, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, so it spins around and locks. All oh, right, when it spins around and locks, it unveils a screw in here. So if you want to set this up permanently vertical like that, I think this sits on the floor that way. And then your machine slides in here and this and you push it forward. So see what happens there? This mechanism hooks onto that base in there. Can you see that? So when you screw it in the middle, it holds it, you know, holds it like that. So if you have enough space in your front console, this is how it's gonna sit, right side TV. Most people's consoles are, re uh, most people's, uh, what's it called, front dividers are really low, so I don't know how that's gonna work. 
but if you're in the flat bed style, I think you flip it. I think you twist this off to the side. Yes. So you rotate it the other way. Let me see. And then, yeah, I'll break it. Try not to break it. Which way is up? Which way is up? I don't know. I'm gonna guess the logo side is up. Yeah, yeah. I can guess. Logo side. So this, this sits here. Like that. I think so. Yeah. So then it's gonna sit like that. Yeah, but why would I want my console like this anyway? I think I'm wrong, it works, but yeah, like a big decoder. So yeah, vertical it's gonna be. And that's really it. That's everything in a box. Oh, we can do a size comparison. Comparing the size though. If I had to compare the size, so this is, this is what it's replacing. This is the PS4 Pro. So that's what your PS4 Pro would look like. If you have to do a side-by-side -side comparison, and this is what your PS5 would look like. It's taller and wider, and okay, definitely heavier. Not not significantly heavier. Uh, as much, it's not as heavy as it looks. It, it is heavy. Don't get me wrong, but it's not as heavy as you would think it is based on the bulk. This guy, yeah, it's done. It's done well. You've done well, son. You've done well. And what you gotta go. You gotta go. Yeah. You gotta take a nap. So, controller. These are adaptive triggers, right? They they tense based on what you're playing. So they, if you're pulling a bow, it can get a bit taut and hard. Or depending on the gun you're firing, this can also get a bit harder to press or lighter to use. Uh, other than that, it feels good. It feels like a like a DualShock 4 to be honest. But let's you don't have DualShock 4 lying around here somewhere. Yeah, I, hold on one second. Yeah, I, got, I got I got it. Yeah, these ones have served me well. So if you had to compare sizes for DualShock 4s as well, see it's definitely bigger, much bigger, right? But I think the ergonomics it makes it a bit easier to hold if, in my opinion anyway um, what else then some small details here and there if you look at the fine there's some grip feel around this is fairly smooth in front uh, it's a bit grippier here mm. it just looks it looks prettier okay I don't know how long white's gonna last when everybody's gripping it with cheese fingers but I guess the black versions and the mods like I said they're mods online you can totally change the colors of this just get a decal stick it on if that's your thing but it, it, it is good, it feels great, and thank God for that USB-C charge. It's gonna make a whole lot of difference with all the current power units out there. And that's for the pad comparison as well. So, everything in a box. You get a pad, you get the base that allows you to stand it horizontally or vertically, you get a USB-C charging cable, HDMI cable, power cable, and the console itself. And that's it for your unboxing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. I'm gonna do a whole lot more videos. Uh, Xbox is stuck somewhere, God forgive me. Shout out to my wife, she made this happen. Much love guys, take care.